Hi everyone, my name is Rochelle and I've recently started a new YouTube channel called Losing It on Keto. The reason why I started the channel is because I feel I could help all of you um, based on results I have uh, achieved, um, based on my lessons learned and, and education that I have uh, to produce just some, some great results for myself and wanted to share that with all of you. So specifically, I've applied the protein sparing modified fast and the protein to energy ratio and um, the learnings that I've had in the past from doing an ideal protein protocol, which is a packaged um, ketogenic meal plan. So leveraging all of that and applying it, which achieves um, the ability to maximize fat loss without having to leverage a keto calculated calculator to determine your macros or to track. And I lost 19 pounds in my third month. And I emphasize the third month because anybody following any form of a ketogenic diet knows that you have a lot of fluid loss early on. And so I highlight that this was month three. So any fluid loss was certainly um, minimized by the by the third month and not artificially inflate, inflated um, based on say a month one result. So anyways, I think that I have a unique perspective on how you can do this without tracking macros. Um, and I, I wanted to share that with all of you. And then this is sort of the introductory video and the basis, the foundation for future videos. And you'll see um, how that plays out as this um, video progresses. So, um, so a little bit more about who, who I am. So I'm a certified keto coach by Dr. Berg and I have been for a number of years. Um, I don't, I did that more for education, uh, not uh, specifically to leverage this as any form of business or or, uh, or anything of the like. It was more for educational purposes. Um, I have a long history, probably like many of you that are watching this, uh, of dieting. And it's been an evolutionary journey in the sense that there's been a lot of learning along the way. Um, so, you know, my dieting history consists of uh, be it calorie counting in my own plan, to Weight Watchers, uh, to, um, uh, I've mentioned doing an ideal protein package, um, ketogenic uh, program years ago. I tried Atkins before that. Um, I've tried extended water fasting. Um, I, the, the list goes on. But the one thing is that this provided a whole lot of uh, learnings and uh, for, which me, for which I could draw upon. And I've leveraged that here to bring this perspective to you. So of all of those, I've applied it in order to maximize the fat burn without having to um, utilize keto calculators and, and tracking. So how did I do it? What's unique? This is what I what I think is is unique in that there's a script that if um, th that if you apply it, it, it leverages these strategies and once again I emphasize uh, eliminates the work that you need to do um, to do the tracking or to determine your macros. It's it's um, sort of baked into the script if you will, and I'm going to show show that to you here in this video. So who can, who can benefit from this? So um, anybody who's following, say, a, a packaged program, be it Ideal Protein or Ideal Protein using alternative products, or say Nutrisystem or Jenny Craig or Optifast, Metafast, etc. cetera, um, anybody that's currently following Protein Sparing Modified Fast, um, anybody who stalled out on keto or um, has not had any, any weight loss success or the expected success that you were having um, on keto or anyone doing extended fasting, um, water fasting on, on keto, 
because I'll tell you from my own experience, what I've learned is there was always a boomerang effect. Now, I didn't do the water fasting just for fat loss. I, I did it for the health benefits, um, and I certainly achieved those. But in terms of fat loss, I can tell you from experience, um, having done a 14-day water fast every quarter since um, the beginning of 2018, I can tell you from a fat loss standpoint, there was always a boomerang effect. So I don't recommend that for that purpose. Um, so anyways, anybody that's doing this, including folks that aren't currently following a ketogenic plan. So if, if say you're doing Weight Watchers or any other type of type of program that's not utilizing a ketogenic way of eating, um, where you're suffering through um, cravings and, uh, and, and, and relying more on willpower. So this video is for all of you. And once again, my motivation is, is to help people. So I feel if you take advantage of my experience and my results here, I feel you can apply them as well to, to help yourself. So how do you apply it? Um, well, in this video, I'm going to show you the protocol script. And if you follow that script, you're going to maximize fat loss. And I'm going to give you recipe ideas and meal plans. And as I mentioned earlier, this is going to serve as the foundation for this channel. And so um, then what's to come are future videos um, that leverage this. Now, a disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional. And the information presented in this video is just a presentation of my own learning and, and application of the learning and, and, and education that I've encountered in my evolutionary journey. Um, so, you know, if, if you apply what I'm uh, sharing here, you sh should probably consult your doctor before undertaking such a program. So that's my disclaimer. Um, so let's get into it then. So before I get into the, the protocol script, I wanted to share some of the, um, the education that I have, some of the information that I've applied to this, is, that served as a basis for what I applied. And so I want to bring that same insight to you. So protein sparing modified fast, the protein to energy ratio, and I referenced doing an ideal protein uh, protocol, which was a moderate protein, um, low carb, low fat package food protocol. All of these I found rooted in, in the same uh, in the same principles, which is prioritizing protein while keeping um, carbs and, and fat low. So uh, applying all of that, I, I, I like to reference Dr. Ted Naiman uh, because he talks about the protein to energy ratio where energy is defined in the carbs plus fat. And I like the, the graphic here to illustrate that, where you have the protein and then the, the non-protein energy, i.e. The, the net carbs plus fat. And so I also like to highlight some of Dr. Naiman's key points, which is he notes that humans will overeat energy in order to get enough protein. So if you prioritize protein, you're setting up the foundation to, to not overeat and setting up the foundation that if you have a, a history of stored energy by prioritizing protein, um, you're setting up a, a system for which your body uh, will, will burn that. Um, and we got into this situation, um, the situation, the obesity epidemic uh, can be traced to the 1950s, which is when we encountered protein dilution because the industry uh, introduced sugar, fl flour, and fats in our diet. And so that diluted protein. So some other um, points that Dr. Naiman likes to make that I uh, think is relevant in the application of this is that when you increase protein, you increase nutrient density. And um, when you increase energy, net carbs and fat, you decrease nutrient den uh, density. As well as when you increase protein, you reduce hunger and cravings. 
So these are all the foundational principles of what I'm about to share with you. Furthermore, when you increase protein and fiber and you de decrease carbs and fat, you have an increased satiety per calorie. And again, you increase the nutrient density of food. Um, an application of this is there, he cites weight loss studies um, and, and broken down in these four groups that you see here. And of those study results, what has been found repeatedly is the only ones to maintain after they've experienced a weight loss was the group that had high protein, low energy. So these are some important um, principles to apply if you want to uh, maximize fat loss like I have done and I'm doing. So another, um, another thing Dr. Naaman likes to say is you are what you eat. You truly can control this. So um, by consuming protein, you're feeding your muscle. And you see that um, pictured here. So here's 300 calories of protein or 300 calories of satiety getting back to the earlier point that I made, that protein reduces hunger and cravings. Conversely, net carbs plus fat feeds your fat. So this 300 calorie donut is 300 calories of hunger because there's not much protein in that donut. And, and so um, once again, leveraging the prior principles, look at that donut as um, low nutrient density, hence triggering uh, more uh, cravings and hunger. And as Dr. Naaman noted, if you load up on uh, carbs and, and fat, load up on energy, your body's going to continue to consume food um, to the point that its protein needs are met. So these are all important uh, pieces of information to be leveraged in order to maximize fat loss. So some other points that I want to make here, it's not just Ted, Dr. Ted Naiman, but Maria Emmerich is someone else that uh, applies uh, these uh, principles. She has, um, you know, in her recipes, she cites the protein to energy ratio. Um, she also has a number of protein sparing uh, modified fast cookbooks. I know she has at least three because I have those three um, and I leverage this as part of um, this protocol that I'm about to share with you. And um, there are some other uh, YouTube resources that are my go-tos that I incorporate their recipes into this. And I'm going to share that, uh, you know, elaborate a bit more on that here in this video. But, uh, but you can see them here listed, and, and this is just a, a subset of some of them, but, the, but they are my go-to, so I specifically listed them here. So it's Ketogenic Woman, and Janet Greta, and Indigo Neely, and Two Crazy Ketos, um, among others. So I mentioned um, having that 19-pound loss in my third month. So I want to share with you a comparison result. I also mentioned that I'm a, keto, a certified keto coach from Dr. Berg. I'm a very big fan of Dr. Berg's. I'm a very big fan of his healthy uh, keto and intermittent fasting plan. But I think there's a way to enhance the, the fat loss uh, to be achieved. And so Dr. Berg even attempted to do that. He, um, he actually has two videos on what he calls keto on steroids. And so this was a way um, where he would provide guidance if somebody wanted to amp up their, their fat burning results, amp up the, the results they were getting on keto. And so it was one meal a day. And, uh, and so I uh, employed that technique for a month. And you'll see the results that I got here. Um, so my result was 5.2 pounds from for uh, for a month, and uh, leveraging a 23 to one um, intermittent fasting ratio. So I consumed my meals in a one-hour eating window and fasted for the other 23 hours. 
and you can see here what my monthly average was of calories and, and the other macronutrients. And, and I will say that even in the macronutrients here, they were actually less than what Dr. Berg even recommends on his keto on steroids. He, he advises not to go under 75 grams of fat um, because we know we need fat to absorb fat-soluble vitamins. Um, but I compare that to um, what I'm calling the, the structured protein sparing or scripted uh, protein sparing modified fast slash applying the protein to energy ratio information. So the bottom here is four meals per day in, and also employing intermittent fasting. So about a 16 to eight uh, ratio. So 16 hours of fasting to an eight hour eating window. And over the course of the month, and this was the third month, um, you can see uh, the results here. So up on the top, the PE uh, ratio for the monthly average was 1.4. In the bottom, it was almost it was more than twice that at 2.6. In month two, that resulted in 12.1 pounds loss, and in month three, that resulted in 19 pounds. And let me also share with you when that month three fell, that was actually from December 8th to January 8th. So it fell over Christmas and New Year's. So quite the quite the, quite the result for that time of year. Um, I did this for four months, then I, I cycled to, to just healthy keto and then um, got back on to this um, after the six weeks and my second full week, I lost 8.2 pounds and now I just completed my third week and lost an exact three pounds. So it's 11.2 pounds just over the last two weeks. And now what I want to show you is um, our, our pictures because obviously pictures um, are, you know, are worth a thousand words. And so I want to show you those pictures to show you we're not just talking uh, fluid loss. You're going to see fat loss as illustrated in these pictures. Um, but before I do that, I want to highlight for you further, I mentioned the protein to energy ratio between these two comparisons. And so um, in the top, you can see 87 grams of protein, 57 grams of fat on average for the month versus the bottom, the 109 grams of protein, the 28 grams of fat, and then the net carbs of four versus 14. So, um, protein of 87 grams to energy of 61 on the top, and then the 109 uh, grams of protein. So doing some quick math, 22 grams more of protein. And uh, what is that? 19 uh, grams less of energy, uh, yielding almost, you know, more than uh, a two times increase in the protein to energy ratio on the bottom. And, and that's absolutely the, the basis for how I maximize the fat loss. And now you may ask, how is it, Rochelle, if you're losing more fluid in the beginning, how, how would you answer, um, how is it you lost more in that third month than even the second month? And I would say, I think this is an indication of being that much more fat adapted. So, um, so once again, I wanna show you the, the pictures. So here on the left, you see the middle of November. And you see my size and you see um, six weeks later. So you can very clearly see um, a dramatic difference in size. And so I think these pictures illustrate when I talk about maximizing fat loss, you're seeing that in the pictures. So having said all of that, now let's get to what the protocol is. And I've said this is, this is a scripted protocol. So with the emphasis being on what I think is, is unique is a, a way to do this without your having to go to a keto calculator and determine your macros and therefore track. The, that approach is baked into this script. And so, what you see here is the protocol, or what I'll emphasize as the scripted protocol. Um, so you see here the four uh, meals. 
four, uh, three of them being a protein supplement meal, which I'll describe, and then uh, two meals having two cups of the lowest carb vegetables, which I will uh, define those for you, and then the dinner being an eight ounce um, a lean protein serving. And once again, I will share with you what, uh, what makes up eight ounces of lean protein. So the protein supplement meal, the guidelines, less than 150 calories, 12 to 23 grams of protein, and then less than five grams of both fat and, and uh, less than five grams of net carbs. So 12 to 23 grams of protein, less than 10 grams of energy. And I'm going to share with you some ideas for how to, how to achieve that, but the, the easiest way to achieve the protein supplement meal guidelines are through, are through uh, protein powders. And, and I'm going to share uh, some more on that in a minute. The whole food dinner protein, I'm going to share that list as, as well as the low-carb vegetables. In addition to this, there should be two teaspoons of, of added keto-friendly fat within the day. And it's up to you as to when you um, consume those. So you may want to do a teaspoon at lunch for those uh, vegetables and a teaspoon at dinner or both at lunch, both at dinner, what have you. It's up to you. The key is two teaspoons of added keto-friendly fat within the day. And when I say keto-friendly fat, I'm specifically um, uh, ruling out, say, vegetable oils. So keto-friendly fat would be, you know, lard, tallow, uh, butter, avocado oil, uh, olive oil, etc. Ghee. Um, and then another thing I'll highlight here is given that it is a low calorie and a restricted eating plan, um, you should supplement and I'll share some insights in regards to that. And then the, um, the types of beverages um, to follow or to consume are coffee and tea, still or sparkling water, and then you can make use of keto-friendly sweeteners um, as part of those um, beverages. So before I get into the, the definitions of um, protein uh, supplement meals and the dinner and the low-carb vegetables and the lean protein, I wanted to share with you the, the macronutrients for, for this um, scripted protocol. So from protein in a given day, you're getting about 100 grams or 400 calories. And in fat, and that fat is made up from the two teaspoons. So say two teaspoons of olive oil, that's 10 grams of fat. Well, I also mentioned you should supplement and you should supplement with either fish oil or my uh, preferred one is cod liver oil. So um, that provides an approximate another 15 grams of fat for a total of 25, and that's 225 calories. And then um, the four cups of low-carb vegetables um, equate to an approximate total carbs of 30 and approximate net carb of 15. So take broccoli, for instance, where half of that is dietary fiber. And so that's 120 calories, and you see the calorie distribution there or more important, the protein to energy ratio of about 2.5. So um, another point is your eight ounces of dinner protein makes up about half your day's protein. So for example, eight ounces of skinless chicken breast is 50 grams of protein. Um, and once again, if you follow this script, you, it, the, the tracking is already baked into this protocol, so you don't need to do this. Um, and the other thing, getting back to the, the Dr. Naiman principles that I started with, while this is low calorie, your protein need, needs are met. Um, and this is a very nutrient dense approach. Um, although because it's restricted, you should, you should supplement. And and the other thing is, you know, once again, given that this is restricted, you should consider medical supervision while you're doing this. 
in, in, in particular, you should be getting your labs before and after so you can, or in, during, so that you can track, you know, use those as your, your um, health markers. Um, and so here you see the supplements that I make use of. And, and I mentioned before that I'm, uh, you know, a big fan of Dr. Berg's. I'm, I'm certified keto coach. But I'm a, a huge fan of his products because um, they're, they're, they're natural. They're not synthetic. They're food-based. And so I, um, the only one in this list that I don't leverage from him is the, um, are the beef organs. I get that from Ancestral. But everything else that you see listed here are Dr. Berg's products. Not that I'm promoting his, his products. But like I said, I'm just preferential to them because they're food based. And that's not to say there aren't any others that are food based. And I certainly have no affiliation whatsoever. I don't benefit in any way um, of sharing this with you. It's just what my preference is. And so I pass that along to you all in the spirit of trying to help you um, achieve the same uh, results that I'm getting. Okay, so before in this in the scripted protocol, I talked about the protein supplement meals. So I also mentioned that the easiest way to do that is leveraging protein powders um, as long as they fit the, the guidelines. And I've shared with you what those guidelines are, and I'll refresh your memory, which is under, you know, for a given serving, so one of the protein supplement meals under 150 calories, um, protein between 12 and 23 grams, and um, net carbs and fat each under 5 grams. And so here's a product that I learned about from Thomas D. Lauer uh, because it's a complete amino acid profile. And uh, for those that have some knowledge of the ketogenic way of eating, we know that um, protein that isn't um, milk-based has lo a lower effect on your insulin than milk-based uh, protein. So this is one that's based on a combination of pea protein and hemp uh, protein. And so um, I'm, I'm preferential to this uh, for that reason. But uh, but this also fits, obviously, the, the guideline. So um, you can see here one serving, uh, which is one scoop, which is 25 grams. Um, that equates to 100 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 17 grams of protein, and, uh, and a net carb of 2, because the total carbs is 3 and dietary fiber of 1. And it's sweetened with stevia. So uh, very clean ingredients. Uh, so I'm a, a big fan of this product and I make, I make use of it. Um, but once again, I don't benefit in any way. I have no affiliation with this company. It's just, um, once again, I'm sharing with you, um, the learnings that I have and, and my, uh, preferences and, and trying to help you. Uh, but some others are Keto Chow, um, you know, Isopure, Quest, um, egg white protein powder or egg whites, all of these can be leveraged um, so that you can um, satisfy the guidelines for the protein supplement meals. Uh, just one comment on Quest and, and Keto Chow. Um, they make use of sucralose except for, you know, the savory uh, versions of Keto Chow and the natural uh, strawberry. Um, which is uh, utilizes monk fruit, which is actually one that I use. I, I choose not to use sucralose, but I highlight those. It's personal preference. Preference. It's just my choice. But I'm sharing the information with you so you can make the most informed decision. And obviously, there are a lot of other uh, protein powders that out there. And do you need to leverage these protein powders? No. Could you do um, a lean protein and achieve this? Um, sure. But, uh, but I found this easiest with um, making use of, of the protein powders for those protein supplement meals. Okay, now the whole food dinner protein. So um, this is the list that I was referring to. And first off, the eight ounces, that's the weight before cooking. 
and that should be skinless and um, there should be no frying or breading and then you can see what makes up these lean protein types the fish the seafood the beef poultry pork veal and other and you can see specifically which ones so when it comes to your dinner protein you should be selecting from this list and then the veg the low carb vegetables once again highlighting the fact there should be four uh, cups total per day um, and you can do two cups at lunch and two cups at dinner or you can do you know all four at lunch or all four at dinner but um, regardless the list should the selection should come from this list so here you have see some uh, some ideas for the protein supplement meals and I'm sorry this is cut off a little bit by the recording but uh, but I mentioned the go-to YouTube sources and then the basis for this channel so I'll be providing um, recipe videos on all of these for you but here's how um, you can incorporate um, those those protein powders and and things you know egg whites and things like that and how you um, satisfy the guidelines for the protein supplement meals so once again i'm uh, going to be sharing with you uh, videos on how to how to make this but if you don't want if you want to keep it simple you know you can take that protein um, powder and you can make very simply a shake out of that with with water um, you know and it could be any protein powder uh, you can turn that into a, a pudding very easily by just reducing the amount of water uh, and you can bake it um, so I'm actually going to show you how to make it out of a pudding how to make the protein powder into a pudding as well as um, baking it into what I call cookie cakes and such so those are future videos and and what I recommend doing is doing these in batches so say take you know an hour or so on the weekend and um, meal prep and make these in batches so that you have them for your week so there's more videos to come on that but that's how you would uh, apply this to satisfy your protein supplement meals in the script and I also mentioned like these YouTube uh, video sources. You can go to them. Maria Emmerich uh, has that as well, as well as her cookbooks. So there's a lot of ways to go about um, achieving these these protein supplement meals beyond what what I'm providing to you. So then the whole food dinner recipe ideas. So it could be as simple as just to pick from your your. Uh, your animal protein or you know other protein from that list um, and cook that along with your couple cups of vegetable and have that as your dinner or you could get a little more creative and, and follow recipes as long as you know you're leveraging the eight ounces of lean protein and the couple of cups of, of vegetables so you can add spices you can leverage things like broths and stocks um, to create recipes and and I've mentioned sources that um, that provide the protein sparing uh, modified fast recipes here down below you just see a, a subset of those so just starting off as a frame of reference if you were to just take a, a, a boneless skinless chicken breast eight ounces with broccoli you can see the macronutrients of that and then say a pork fried rice which I'll be making this as one of the recipe videos um, you can see the makeup there and and some other examples um, you know uh, these will all serve as videos that you'll find on this channel but um, but there are sources you know you can keep it very simple like I said and just pick from the uh, list uh, for your protein and your vegetables and and you're all set but if you want um, to make it uh, more interesting and like me you find um, recipes and cooking and such therapeutic 
well, then you can get more creative and leverage some of these and, um, and, and uh, get some ideas from the recipe videos that I'm going to be doing for you and then branch out from there. So that's how, uh, how this is scripted. And if you just follow this, how you will achieve the same type of results that I'm getting and, and maximizing the fat loss. So here you see, pulling it all together, here's a meal plan for a day. And what I'm showing you here is actually one of my days that fell into that, um, that time frame where I lost 19 pounds in a month. And so what you see here is pretty, pretty typical um, for me. So I'll break this down to you for you. So I mentioned the four meals. So um, the first three are the protein uh, supplement meals. So the first one, Indigo Neely has an egg white crepe that I topped with uh, RX sugar maple, uh, maple syrup. So that was my first meal. And when I note breakfast, I don't consume breakfast. So uh, my first meal of the day would have been about 11 o'clock or, or noon or so. And uh, I've mentioned about a 16 to 8 um, intermittent fasting schedule. Uh, sometimes I do 18, 6. So sometimes I'll eat between noon and 6 p.m. Uh, so meal number two here, and, and I do this, do this frequently, which is I'll make a whole, um, and, and by the way, this will be a video, I will make a whole um, pot of soup. And very simply, I, I take a combination of uh, stock um, or broth and, and combine them. And then I use that as the vehicle for my vegetables, for my lunch vegetables. Um, and then I have my protein supplement with it. So in this case, I made a chicken stock um, with, uh, with uh, cauliflower. And then my protein supplement meal was a pudding. And once again, everything you're seeing here will be recipe videos that are going to come on the heels of this video. Uh, then my third supplement meal for the day, protein supplement meal, is uh, what I call the chocolate protein cookie cake. And once again, that's a uh, video. That's actually going to be the first recipe video. I've actually already recorded it that I'm going to release. And this one here was making use of the Sun Warrior High Performance, the, the Warrior Blend uh, protein powder. And that's super creamy. And, uh, and so that's what the third protein supplement meal was based on here. And then for dinner, uh, what I did was I had um, five ounces of, of turkey. And in this case, I kept it real simple. I got the organic Dietz and Watson turkey from Costco. And I served that on um, outer aisles cauliflower sandwich thins. So this is the way I further got in my vegetables. Um, and so I basically had a turkey sandwich with braised cabbage as my uh, dinner meal. And then I also had a, a collagen drink um, to, to finish out the meal. So I split my, my protein a little bit here between the, the turkey and the, and the collagen in this case. But this is a typical meal for me, uh, a meal plan for me. And you'll see here the protein to energy ratio is 3.2 for this day. The 100 grams of, uh, that should show 100, and, yeah, it does, 109 grams of protein followed by the um, 34 grams of energy, uh, 20 grams of fat, and 14 net carbs. Once again, making a PE ratio of 3.2. So that everything I've shared here is the foundations of um, why the program works and what is the program, how is it scripted. So if you follow this, I very much believe you'll maximize um, fat loss. And I've also shared that this information is um, the basis for this, you know, a key basis for this, the majority of the basis for this channel. 
And so, um, so coming attractions, uh, I've mentioned I'm going to be doing recipe videos, not just on the protein supplement meals, but also the whole food dinners. Um, I'll be sharing progress videos with you. And now uh, I mentioned the, the launch of this channel. I've also, I, I've actually launched this with a friend of mine. And this friend of mine is new to keto. And um, she is going to be running the Chicago Marathon in October. And so part of this channel will be tracking her progress, um, leveraging keto to the Chicago Marathon. So it's not just going to be this um, protein to energy, protein sparing, modified fast slash ideal protein version of this, but it'll also be uh, somebody, their keto journey through the Chicago Marathon. So you'll be getting um, updates on that as well and how somebody new to keto is applying it. So these are all coming attractions for the channel. Um, some additional information in terms of uh, coming attractions. So I mentioned um, recipe ideas on the protein supplement meal. Um, you see that here. I referenced the chocolate protein cookie cakes. Um, this is going to be actually the first um, recipe video that I release. So stay tuned for this one. Another one is going to be the making use of that same protein powder as a as a pudding that I referenced earlier. And then another one are protein electrolyte gummies um, based off the uh, two crazy ketos and how I adapted that. Uh, so just a, a few of the coming attractions for the protein supplement meal ideas. And then uh, another coming attraction for the whole food dinner recipe idea, the ground chicken chili. Um, based on, once again, uh, two crazy ketos that I adapted uh, for uh, an increase in the protein to energy ratio. So more to come on that. And actually, all these videos are already recorded. So I'll be re releasing those in short order right on the heels of, of this uh, video. So uh, hopefully you've learned something from this video. Hopefully th this idea of a scripted protocol and the ability to maximize fat loss. Hopefully this has piqued your interest and um, you want to learn more and you'll stick with us. Hopefully this is um, information that you'll find beneficial and applying it because like I said, I started this channel to, um, to help you based on the results that I'm getting. So, um, so welcome to the channel. Much more to come. Hopefully I'm hitting the mark. Um, feel free to comment and offer some additional ideas. Um, feel free to ask questions. Let me know if anything isn't clear. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to taking this journey with you. So thank you for your time. And until the next video, um, to your health.